There are various stair types to choose from. Keep in mind this tool blocks out the basic flight of stairs. As you progress and require fancier designs, you will need to model the stairs differently. On the stairs layer, create a U-type stair by clicking and dragging along the first flight. You can then define the overall width of the stairs and ultimately the height. As with those in Windows, the length and width of the stairs were drawn using CAD reference and snap tools. You must now define the overall height and number of steps. In the rise group, you can define a riser height of 7.5 inches and lock that value. Alternatively, you can define an overall height of 10 feet. The number of risers is automatically calculated. A stair object can be one of three types, open, closed, or box. In this case, we'll set it to closed. You can enable the rail path options to help with the creation of handrails. This creates two splines that you can enable in the renderer and viewport, which will serve as handrails. To create railing posts, you can use the AEC Extended Railing tool. Using the railing tool, pick one of the railing paths and then ensure the Respect Corner option is enabled. A railing is created with the default of two posts at the ends and two pickets between them. First, zero out the top rail and lower rail. You'll not need them. In the fencing rollout, Use the Picket Spacing tool to specify a count of zero. You'll not need those either. In the Post Rollout, set a 1 by 1 inch post and set the extension to minus 4 feet. Using the Post Spacing tool, use the Centered Specify Spacing option to force an interval of 6 inches between posts. If you repeat the railing procedure on the second rail path, all the parameters used for the first railing are retained. At this time, you can cancel see-through mode on the walls layer. One last tool, Foliage, remains. It lets you choose from a library of preset trees and plants. After a foliage object is created, you can control its height, density, and pruning. You can also change the seeds for more variation. Each click of the new button gives you a variation of the same tree or plant type. You can also choose to show or hide components such as leaves, branches, or trunk. You can also adjust the level of detail to help with rendering time. If a foliage object is not selected, details like leaves and branches are displayed as a canopy to improve viewport performance.